If you have a technique that isn't working, this is where you go to solve that problem. When I say fundamentals, I bet what comes into your mind is a skill set of basic techniques. The trouble is the skill set of basic techniques is different for every martial art, every style, every weapon. The fundamentals I'm talking about are much more fundamental than that, and they apply to all martial arts, all styles, all weapons. When you have a technique that isn't working, these are the fundamentals you go to to fix it. When you want to bring your performance up a level, these are the fundamentals you work on. Balance comes first. Balance is everything. We could say on an elementary level that balance is the ability to move either foot in any direction without first having to shift your weight. Balance includes stability, which means you can stay in that position indefinitely. It includes mobility, which means you can move very easily in any direction. And it, it includes um, agility as well, being able to change directions very easily. But there's more than just physical balance. We could consider mental balance, which is the ability to change intentions from offense to defense without having to think about, right? You're able to act without thinking about acting first. That's mental balance. We could discuss emotional balance. Emotional balance is your ability to feel emotion without being controlled by those emotions. We could even talk about spiritual balance, which is the ability to flow from yin to yang, from yang to yin, without conscious intent. And maybe that's, maybe that's a conversation we'll save for another time. Line is the perfect relationship between each part of your body to every other part of your body. When your line is correct, you deprive your opponent of some choices and you force them to make other choices. When your line is correct, you are a fortified position, able to defend or attack with equal ease without unnecessarily making yourself vulnerable. Focus is where you put your eyes and where you put your attention. There are four kinds of focus, internal and external, narrow and broad. For example, when you're learning a skill, your focus will be internal. And it will be first internal narrow as you go through this mental checklist of all the details. You're learning your fighting stance or your on guard stance. You'll go through your mind, are my feet right? Are my knees right? Are my, are my hips right? Are my shoulders right? And, th and you'll go through that pre-flight check every time for a while, focusing on each detail that's narrow, internal. At some point, your brain's going to say, to hell with that, that's all one thing now. Tired of going through that list. That's a shift from narrow internal to broad internal. Now, the thing of it is, when you fight, your focus can't be internal. You can't be thinking about your feet or your balance or, you know, I mean, all that has to be in place. That has to be reliably in place. You must be able to focus externally on your opponent and the environment. A broad external focus takes into account everything in the environment plus the gestalt of your opponent as a whole. Narrow external focus is when you're looking for a particular cue or a particular tell so that you can anticipate your opponent's next action. 
In practice, you go from uh, narrow to broad external back and forth all the time. Uh, it's like driving a car. When you're, when you're driving, your, your main focus is broad external, the road in front of you and what you can easily see ahead. But still, you flick your eyes regularly to the rear view mirror or your side mirrors to check other directions and then back again to the uh, focus in front of you. So that's, that's shifting from a broad external focus to a narrow external focus and back and forth again. And that's basically what you do when you fight. Distance is about your relationship to space and time. It's the art and practice of being in the right place at the right time. Not a moment too soon, not a moment too late, not a fraction of an inch too far, not a fraction of an inch short. To be there for as long as you need to be there and no longer. Balance, line, focus, and distance. These are the things that contribute to your skill set. And you develop these things by correctly practicing your skill set. Balance, line, focus, and distance. I think that these elements apply far more broadly than just martial arts. They apply to a whole lot of things. Maybe they apply to everything. What do you think? Let us know in the comments.